in your training sessions with Doc Councilman, um, can you tell us some of the attributes that you felt made him the, you know, the innovator he is and led him to his uh, the science of swimming? I just think that it was uh, a revolutionary, if I can say it that way, uh, approach uh, to swimming uh, far above what I had ever been used to. And uh, I think a lot of these uh, swimmers, because most of these swimmers that came in because of Councilman's, Councilman's magnetic power uh, were established swimmers, were uh, uh, young stars uh, in their state. And, and, and uh, uh, Councilman, really, it was a perfect example of taking people, athletes, to the next level with a different approach. And um, was that because he treated everyone absolutely equally on the team, or was he just training them very individual-like? Uh, Doc Councilman, I don't think, ever had a bad word to say about any of his swimmers or athletes. Uh, I think he was always very supportive and complimentary, which was, it was, was important to me because uh, it was, by that time I knew that... Uh, uh, I was really outclassed by a, a, a number of fantastic swimmers. I will say this, we were very close. Um, when we went to the East-West meet in 1957, we pretty much stayed together as a team where you're in Florida and, you know, people go this way, people go that way. But we, uh, as a team, uh, stuck together. I remember going out to dinner uh, with Doc. Doc liked to take us out to dinner. Uh, when we go to swim against Michigan, I remember we stopped at uh, 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 Schuler's and Jackson, and he said, have whatever you want. He was just, just little things like that, which uh, had a fantastic impact on the team aspect of it.